Hey, it's Ryan, and I just got back from Harvest at Queen Creek yet again. I visited Land Sea Homes, and uh, we're going to take a walk through those models, but I just wanted to let you know there's 14 of these that they're going to be releasing, 14 lots. They do have the models picked out, so, um, you know, they already have, like, preset models on each one. So, um, you know, you have the uh, Man Mandarin, Valencia, Clementine, and the Pomelo. So those are the those are the models that are going to be on there and you can you can see those um on their website land c and it looks like the lowest one's going to be about 320 and the highest is 380 as of right now square footage 1939 all the way upwards to 2768 so check out this walkthrough and i hope you enjoy it and if you're looking for someone to represent you feel free to give me a buzz i'd love to right now we're going to take a look at the clementine three to four beds two and a half three bathrooms um, single story model here, so let's check it out. I don't know if it comes with this fancy gate. And you can do whatever you want I, to the front here, but I, they do come finished in the front, but just not the uh, backs, not the backyards. So, do have one other family in here, so we're gonna put our mask on. And uh, up front here, we have kind of a uh, attached casita, which as you can see, it has another door, and uh, I wouldn't call it a full-blown casita, but just kind of guest quarters. So that's kind of cool. So this would be great for uh, mom. But usually, I guess you could fit dad and mom here too. Yeah, if you want to bring dad with, fine. If not, bathroom for them. Forgot to take my sunglasses off. I'm wondering why it's so dark in here. Now I know. So they have a obviously a door to their room too. And this is your little uh, put some uh, shoe holders here or you know, some hooks for coats because it's so cold in Arizona. Or you can throw your coats in there. Uh, pretty wide area here as far as walking in. And uh, here's the kitchen. So once again, we're in the Clementine model here at Land Sea Homes. Laundry room. Does the job, does the job. And here's the pantry, walk-in pantry. Been seeing those more and more, that's pretty cool. Gas range with uh, you can save your recipes on here, I think. Yep, here it is. Basically, it's uh, there's Mr. Coleman, that's the big guy, and he's got some sons that work for him. I'll have to mess with it, I don't know. But here is your sink. Look at this, look how big this sink is. Could wash a small animal in there, maybe a javelina. Nice countertops, ports, and uh, round tables are now coming back. So round tables, you're seeing a lot of these models, and it makes sense. And here's your living space. Pretty good size, pretty good size. Living space in the dining room into your kitchen, to your front door. Now let's go check out the backyard. I'm the only one that ever goes in the backyards here because they're always locked. So, a good size overhang here, which I'm happy about for the back patio. And uh, these lots for land sea, the lots, L O T S, are a little bit longer and uh, skinnier. So, you can see you got some room back here. And uh, maybe they'll keep these flagpoles here for you if you buy the model. You can uh, throw in some, uh, what do you call those, um, sunshades, sun, sun, sun sails, sun sails. Yes. All right. Backyard.
and uh, looks like we got to get some water on these plants. Look at that. Come on. A few air conditioners in there, and they got two because they're uh, dealing with the office, I'm sure. So, oh, children running from me. I don't blame them. Howdy. All right. Let's head over here. And of the master. You know, I'm going to stop recording and restart because uh, I'm getting some uh, weird signals here. Okay, we got some lines in here. I don't know what's going on with that, if it's the LED lights or what. Let me... I don't know. All right. We're back. Party shower. Here it is. That's a big shower head. Get the uh, master bath area here. And the walk-in closet. Look at that. Super cool. Bathroom. Toilet. The man bar again. Been seeing the man bar a lot. It's gaining in popularity. I may have to try that out just to see what all the fuss is about in these model homes. A lot of man bars. Outdoor patio. Um, the the um, slider here, which is real nice. Going straight to the uh, backyard from the master. It would make sense to kind of come up with yeah. the yeah. Around here. Can I sneak into the uh, oh, sorry, rooms over here? Yeah, just sorry, trying to stay six feet me. away. <laughs> All right, so here's the, uh, oh, I remember this bedroom. Yep. And on the new builds, they don't, some of them come with lights, but some some don't. Some rooms don't. You got to gotta figure that out, so. And the ceiling fans and all that. I know with Lennar they don't. So. Yep. Closet. Super cool. And bathroom. So this is what the kids will be sharing and fighting over in their uh, teen years. Pretty decent size. This will. This will get them clean, that's for sure. Keep them clean. That's the Clementine, Clementine. One more look at this kitchen here. Into here. And we have, ooh, I didn't see this home automation here, so. Okay, no idea. High performance homes, live the high performance life. Apparently that's a way of life. And yeah, I'm sure with this front area we can, you know, do some different options here. Doesn't have to quite be what you see here. You can probably switch it up, do an office. But uh, I'll tell you what, it's nice having a bathroom when you got your office up there. And not having to deal with the kids. So that's the Clementine. Let's go check out the Mandarin. Again. And here's the Mandarin. Five beds, three and a half to four and a half bathrooms, just depending on what options you pick. Ooh, I feel like it's bright. I'm like, why is it so bright? I don't have my sunglasses on. So here's the Mandarin. <sighs> you have this cool. I don't know if this is like a painted wood or if it's a faux wood. I think it's wood, yeah. So I got that kind of cool front facade. And uh, I like this one when you walk in, the way it feels, it's really cool. So. Here's your front office. And this one does have a fan with it, huh? And uh, the bathroom, half bath. And this would be your little kind of area to maybe put some shoes. Nice wide stairs, look at that. I mean, you can fit a lot up there. So, do you like this floor plan? This is your back living space. You have a little area over here for a hutch. Check out this kitchen. And I 
think this is a farmhouse sink, maybe. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna head on back here. I hope these lines aren't showing up. I'm showing some lines on my uh, on my footage here. Kind of worried about it because then I'll have to come back here for a third time. So if there's lines on the footage, guys, I do apologize. Hoping that that doesn't happen. Hope that my camera's not burnt. But anyways, we're gonna head on in here. And uh, yeah, so this is this is gonna be kind of like a guest quarters, which is really nice. You know, I'm gonna flip this around and see what's going on. All right, so I'm just hoping that's on the uh, back display here. I'm seeing some lines that are popping up, and it's kind of kind of bothering me. So this is your guest quarters here, um, which will be real nice for you know once again grandma, grandpa, whoever's coming to live with you, or guests that are just coming to stay, and you want them to have their own bathroom because that is a pretty important part of uh, a vacation is just being able to uh, you know use the uh, use the bathroom <laughs> with privacy and not having a bunch of people use it right after you. And this is a good size patio once again. Overhang is very big and uh, you got some speakers built in as well as some candle lighting. Good size. And here is where you can have your uh, parties, weddings, whatever. But good size, good size backyard here. Very cool. Good size. All right, let's head back into the uh, casita. It's not a casita, but the guest quarters. So uh, here's our dining room. Now I'm using a new camera today, so hopefully this camera has got a wide enough lens on it. I feel like it, my phone has a wider lens, which is usually what I use. So this is where you're going to be hanging out. Um, I think it flows nicely. I like the feeling of it. And uh, let's see here, pantry, and then we have our garage, which is locked. You know, in this one. And here is the little butler station. So we're gonna go look upstairs. Uh oh, hey, you guys again. Sorry. No sweat. You're good. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. Sorry, let's go look down first, and then we'll look upstairs. All right, heading up here. Check it out. Let's go over here first. Look at this place. Super cool. Fun front bedroom with a bathroom. Look at that. So if you did want to stick grandma downstairs or grandpa, you could uh, use this for your guest bathroom, or your guest room. So here would be your main bathroom for the kids. I don't know what's going on in my hair today. It's just not working out the way I wanted. Here's a bedroom, looks like the boys' bedroom space theme super cool I, this is kind of nice i've never i haven't seen this yet like a little you know they want to stand in there and jump onto the bed or something that would be perfect boom just jump right onto that bed could not see my kid doing that so plantation shutters over here for the front it's kind of cool you can see who's Who's outside? Who's out there? See the mountains pretty well. Look at that. Of course, you're gonna have some houses built up across the street, but I still think you're gonna have a mountain view once those are built. Cool. There's a buffalo on the wall. Alrighty, so Honeywell is what they're rocking. Let's go uh, over here. Here we have the laundry room. And we have a bedroom, another bedroom. Nothing to jump off of in here though, unfortunately. Oh, and we have a loft, so you guys can hang out and 
Do what you gotta do. Hang out in the loft. Master bedroom. Ooh, master bedroom with a view. This is this is a great view. It's the back of the house, but it's a view nonetheless. That's cool. That's gonna be real nice once it's all built up. Master bedroom. You got the barn door there to cover the bathroom. Put a handle on that guy somewhere. And a decent sized master master bath. Party shower. This is getting popular. Oh, someone's calling me. I'm hang, hang up that. I don't want to be rude. This, yeah. We're just going to cancel that. All right. So, let's keep heading out. Master closet. And master bath or master toilet I should say all right soft clothes uh, cabinets here it's kind of nice yeah cool room cool very cool oh and look at this power in the floor it's pretty random but uh can find a use for that maybe to put some uh, little twirly lights around the posts here here are the lights to go up the stairs. Kind of different. So this is the Mandarin. I like it. You guys like this one? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Good luck. Bye. All right. Hope you all enjoyed the tour. I'm going to get back to it. Try to talk to a salesman here today. That's the Mandarin. These have different elevations, so you can get different things on the front as well. And this one looks like it's probably the medium or upgraded elevation here. But very cool. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. For more videos on escaping to Arizona, just click that subscribe button to stay in the loop. Thank mm -hmm. you.